do you still speak to Vitalik and, and why did you leave? Why did you two break up per se? Well, I don't imagine Vitalik has a super high opinion of me, um, you know, and it is what it is. The, the reality is that we have very big philosophical disagreements about how things ought to be run. When I was there, I said, look, if we're taking other people's money, we have to put that money into a structure that creates accountability. Furthermore, we have to put golden handcuffs on the founders and keep them loyal to the project because there's too many of them. There's eight founders. And if they're not locked into something, then what's going to happen is they're all going to run away and create their own ventures, which is what they did. Um, Anthony did Decentral, Gavin did Polkadot and Parity. I did Cardano. You know, uh, they all, there's all seven of the eight are gone. And furthermore, the incentives were set up that we got paid up front with a founder reward, which I didn't take, the other seven did. Uh, and uh, basically, if the project's successful, hallelujah. If it fails, hallelujah. But you've already got your maximum reward up front. Whereas in an equity finance model, you have to build value over time and you have a venture capital arm keeping you accountable. So the first, there was a fundamental disagreement about business strategy and execution vision. And I felt a for-profit model with VC money to build the protocol made a lot more sense. And then when the protocol was done, spin it out and have a governing foundation run it uh, would be probably a much better approach. That's one dimension. The other dimension is your interpersonal reasons. Um, we had for six months been living like hippies, you know, in the Switzerland house and he was traveling around the world and communication was very siloed and paranoia and fear started building up. And there's like three books now uh, written about this. And those books, um, uh, you know, they, they paint a portrait that there was a bunch of very brilliant people that got two doses of brains and half a dose of social skills, myself included. Uh, and when you put them into a high stress hippie like situation, it breeds a lot of conspiracy theories and fear and these types of things. And frankly, there were just too many founders. So at some point you have to consolidate. And there was really two different paths that Vitalik could choose. He was sitting in the middle. He could pick the business side, which is what I was advocating, and Anthony Diorio and Joe Lubin were advocating, or he could pick the tech, uh, crypto anarchy, not-for-profit, you know, egalitarian, meritocratic, open-source world, which is what Gavin and Jeff uh, were pushing. And ultimately, our side lost. Amir Shatrit left, and I left at the same time, and then shortly thereafter, Anthony left, and then Joe went on to do consensus and monetize a whole different area. And then obviously the tech people, it was Lord of the Flies. They ate themselves. They nearly spent all the ICO money. Uh, they launched Ethereum. I think they had less than a half million dollars in treasury of the original 18 million that they ran. And they got very lucky that Ethereum became very valuable very quickly. That allowed them to replenish the treasury. And now it's a success. But just like Tesla in 2008, they were damn near bankrupt. Uh, so, you know, in hindsight, could we have found a more amicable way or could I have done things very different? Of course. You know, at the time I was 25, 26 years old. It was the first time I've ever done anything at a scale like that. I, there's a reason I became a mathematician and not an MBA. You know, I, I, don't have, uh, I don't have those native skills. It took me about a decade to slowly aggregate and learn how to lead a company uh, and actually be accountable to a company and run a software project and run a science project. And, you know, my work stands for itself. With IOHK, we've published 92 papers. I think over 10,000 citations. I mean, an academic career for, you know, somebody who's been around for 40 years or 50 years. We did all of that in just a four-year period uh, from when we bootstrapped our scientists to actually getting serious about paper production. And then we built an engineering company that not only can deliver a product as complex as Cardano to market, but do it in a very exotic programming language. Haskell, find talent there, and then actually go and improve Haskell, the programming language itself, and compile it to JavaScript and to WebAssembly and so forth. So I have six years of history at IOHK, and I have six months of history at Ethereum. What's so disheartening is that Ethereum is the big project, and Cardano isn't quite there yet, so Ethereum is what everybody knows me for. And so they only had six months of data where I had limited ability to influence and control things. And I was just one brick in the wall amongst many. And then at IOG, I've been the CEO, the big guy, you know, so I've had the ability at my company to sh demonstrate what a vision would look like. And a lot of people often ask, well, what would have happened with Ethereum uh, had uh, you stayed? So we've already run that experiment. It would look a lot like Cardano, you know, <laughs> so how we built Cardano, the approach we took. That's exactly what Ethereum would look like. And similarly, they ask, well, what would have happened to Ethereum had Gavin Wood had more say? Well, we already ran that experiment. We have Polkadot. 
And that's exactly what Ethereum would have looked like. It will look a lot more like Polkadot and less like F2 and so forth. So in many ways, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. It allowed all of us, Gavin, myself, Vitalik, to be our own guys and to pursue our own visions and build our own communities. And I think the cryptocurrency space is much richer as a consequence because all the things we've done are open source. So love us or hate us, the ideas are percolating and being shared and we learn from them, they learn from us. And ultimately, the communities all benefit in that respect.